Hi, and welcome. Today we're going to be constructing a confidence interval about the population mean when sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown. Quite frequently, this is the case in real-world data sets. We seldom know the true population standard deviation, and we have to use the sample standard deviation in its place. A confidence interval is simply a series of values within an interval with a level of confidence attached. So let's look at a problem. Constructing a confidence interval about a population mean when sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown. Because cardiac death appeared to increase after a heavy snowfall, a study was designed to examine cardiac demands of manually shoveling snow. Ten subjects cleared tracks of snow and their maximum heart rates in beats per minute were recorded. We want to find a 95% confidence interval estimate of the population mean for those who manually shovel snow. There's three simple steps that are required to construct a confidence interval. And let's look at what they are. The first step necessary is to find the critical value, t alpha over 2. Before we do this, we must find the degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is based on n minus 1, n being our sample size. We have a sample size of 10, which tells us that we have 9 degrees of freedom. In order to find this value, we must go to the student t distribution tables. Our alpha is 0.05, and we have 9 degrees of freedom. If you cross-reference these two values, you will see that we have a critical value of 2.262. This is the first step that we need to complete our confidence interval. We have a critical value of 2.262. The second step is to calculate the margin of error. The margin of error is simply the critical value, which we just found from the student t-table, times our standard error, s over radical n. Let's complete the calculations. 2.262 times 15, which is our sample standard deviation, over radical n, which is our sample size. This gives us a margin of error of 10.730. This completes the second step for the construction of our confidence interval. It's relatively straightforward and hopefully easy. Let's look at the third step. The third step is simply the construction of the interval about the point estimate, which in this case is our sample mean. It's the sample mean plus or minus the margin of error. The upper and lower values of this confidence interval bound our population mean. The confidence interval is then 164.27 to 185.73. This means that we can be 95% confident that this interval contains the true population mean heart rate for those who manually shovel snow. I hope this has been a simple and complete example of how we've constructed a confidence interval and it's helpful to you. Thank you and have a nice day.